I just discovered the best way how you can make dithered effect here in Photoshop, which are basically with these little crosses in it. So let's take a look. I'm going to go with this model as a reference. I'm also going to leave a link in the description where you can download it. As you can see, we got a really large image and first we're going to need to scale this down. So I'm going to go to the image, image size, and I'm going to go all the way down to 300, for example. Click OK and zoom in. Here you can see it pixelated. And now we're going to go to the file. Let's go to export and let's select save for web legacy. And here we got the image. I'm going to click on the plus to zoom in. And so far it looks like this. Also, you're going to need to make sure that it's on GIF here. So let's select the GIF. And for example, this one is the diffusion dithering, which basically leaves these grain dots here and there and transforms the shading into grains. You also can change the dithering to non-dithering or multicolor dithering from high all the way to down to low. But in our situation, we want something else. So we're going to go down here to the diffusion and let's go and select the pattern and check this out. It's going to change it to these cross dithering effects, which look really cool. Now you also can change up the dithering however you like. You also can increase or decrease the color. For example, if I add like 32, it is going to add more colors and more shading, make it more rich and realistic looking. But in my case, I did decrease it to four. You also can do it with two. So this is going to be in two colors only, but I'm going to go with four and check this out. There's another really cool trick you can make. You can go here to the colors. So we get like four colors. And for example, if I want to change this uh, creamy yellow, I can double click on it and I just can change it up, for example, to some orange. Click OK, and it's gonna change it to orange. I'm gonna go to the brown, double click, make it some dark, and there you go. And from here, we're gonna need to save this. Let's click on Save. Save in the location you want. Click Save, and I'm gonna close this, and then I'm gonna import the dithered image. So as you can see, this is really small, 200 by 100. If I zoom in, it looks really good. But if I open up the image out of Photoshop, and I zoom in, you can see that the quality and the resolution of the image is really low. So we're gonna to need to fix that. I'm gonna to go to the image, image size. Now we're gonna go here to the resample automatic. I'm gonna change it to nearest neighbor hard edges. Now increase the size. I'm going to go, for example, 3400. Click OK. And there you go. Super high resolution dithered image. Thanks for watching.